Good evening. I'm a journalist and human rights activist from Azerbaijan. My name is Idrak Abbasov. I am co-founder of the Institute for Reporters, Freedom and Safety in Azerbaijan and have worked in local and foreign media for over 20 years. In 2012, I received an award from Index on Censorship. 20 days later, I was brutally beaten while shooting a film in Baku. It was a price that had to be paid for the right to truth. Many of my friends paid dearly for the right to truth at around this time, but we went on working. From March 2014, the authorities in Azerbaijan, with President Ilham Aliyev at their head, sought to resolve the issue of free speech and freedom of expression once and for all. Many of our colleagues were arrested. Many, including myself, were forced to flee the country. I am currently in Norway with my family. After March 2014, many NGOs were closed down, including the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety. For the past seven months, the director of the institute, Eamon Husseinov, has been in hiding at the Swiss embassy in Baku. Distinguished human rights activists, Leila Yunus, Arif Yunus, Intigam Aliyev and Rasul Jafarov have been arrested. Earlier arrests had included human rights activists Einar Mamidli and Bashir Shulamanli. Last year, the authorities arrested the well-known journalists Khadija Ishmalova and Seymour Hazi. Before then, Pariz Gashimli, Gilal Mamadov, Nijad Aliyev and Ralph Mikadirov had been arrested along with others. In Azerbaijan, not a single television or radio channel is free. In effect, all media are under government control, with the exception of a few newspapers and the internet. There is no freedom of expression or association. There are no free elections. The country is ruled by a terrible regime. Freedom of speech has been completely stifled. Our colleagues have been murdered. Elmar Husseinov was killed in 2005. Novuzeli Mamedov was murdered in prison in 2009. Rafik Tigi was killed in 2014. No one has been called to account. Many journalists have been brutally and repeatedly beaten, and no one has been punished. This is Azerbaijan. This is the horrific way the country is being ruled. That is why I call upon the world community to help Azerbaijan and the freedom of speech in Azerbaijan so that our colleagues might be released and that our country might become a normal state in which we and others might live freely. Thank you.